Hi guys, Jack here with another review, and today we're going to be taking a look at, well, this is a, um, this is a kind of review that I have never done before. So, um, and this is basically those things that I barely have in my collection. So, um, we're going to be taking a look at one of the coolest things I ever have is a Christmas tree. That's right, people, a Christmas tree. Everybody's favorite super awesome Christmas tree. This Christmas tree is done in a super awesome silver. No, I'm just kidding. Th this isn't the real review. We're not, we're not reviewing a Christmas tree now, are we? No, no, we're not. Today, we are going to be doing a, um, a new class for um, my reviews, and that is called Jack's First Impressions. And today, that will be based upon... Superhero Squad from Hasbro and Marvel. So yeah, um, back in back in um, the late um, 2008, I think so. My um, brother was in the hospital during um, Christmas time, and um, uh, they threw a little party. Got they got a couple of new toys, money, candy, and this was one of those things. He um, never even touched it because of, um, well, he didn't really like it. And I kind of had um, something like this, which was based off of the, um, hold on a second, based upon the little um, superhero squad from, squad set from Spider-Man 3. And these were from um, one of my teachers that loved, 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 loved Spider-Man. So, yeah. You you will be seeing reviews on these guys. Don't worry. And so this has been sitting in my um my closet in a storage bin for roughly um what is it now? Twenty twelve? Four years now. Well, three 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 and a half four years. I don't know. That's just that's just long, isn't it? These things are just gathering up dust and still mint and sealed and. Well, I thought it was about time I review something like this and get it out. Also, um, the reason why I'm reviewing this is because um, I want I wanted to try and do a, um, a a first review of 2012 and do it with a bang. And I thought today because today is January 20 not January the 11th and tomorrow is 12 and and um, the year is 12 so. Yeah, it's a bit confusing. So we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Here we have Iron Man, Spider Man, and Wolverine looking oh so cute. Hero oh Hero up. Here is Spider Man and Venom. It says it right there. Superhero Squad Marvel Aces three and up. We'll come to that. We'll come to that right here. You get that same caption again. Hero oh Hero up. And here is Venom, the super, the super tongued super villain. I actually like the artwork for um, Venom right here. And here is um, Spider-Man, the wall crawling, wise cracking. I don't, I can't read that. My, I need my glasses. And the one thing that I've noticed on this um, packaging is that if you, if you look closely, it looks like Spider-Man got breast implants. That's just weird. I, I don't understand that. Come, come right to the here. Come right here. We got a little um bio. Hold on. You can pause that just to read it. I I can't read it for you guys. So yeah, nothing on the back besides barcode and trademark. Marvel and Hasbro. And we will open these guys up. Here with me today is my lovely lady, Heather. Yes, I name everything I have. I even have. A um, CD player named Frank after Frank Welker because he, of course, voiced Soundwave in G1. Here is the sealant onto the back. Let's read it. Let's read it. Try and cut. The first tab is released. Something on the other side. 
Oh, I cut the packaging. I would have wanted to keep the. Hold on, let's see. If I nope, no, I can't. And then we will open up the top. up to the side and here they are kind of released from their plastic prisons And here are Spider-Man and Venom. Um, wow, these guys are like really, really cool. I mean, wow. One moment, I don't bother to um, touch these guys for four years now, and they're actually pretty cool. Um, Size-wise, these are this is actually kind of um, resembles um, well how how Spider-Man and Venom are supposed to be compared together. For example, Venom is supposed to be this big, meaty, gu bulky guy, and Spider-Man is supposed to be this small, little, wimpy kid. And um, yeah, um, articulation. Spider-Man's head can um, is on some ball joint. I I don't want to force it or anything. I mean, I don't want to break the head off. Um, arms can rotate 360 degrees. Same thing, with the, same thing with the other arm. And there's kind of a um, false advertising on this guy. Because if you come back to the packaging, Spider-Man here had webs shooting out. Yeah, where are the webs? This side's on his costume. Yeah. But we'll take a quick, we'll, we'll scoot Spidey off to the side right here and take a look at Venom. Venom is one of my least favorite um, comic book villains and um, he's just dang, dang cool. Sadly, no um, tongue like, like it said on the packaging or a ball joint in his neck or head, but he does have, um, he does have articulation in his arms. And that's basically about it. All you can do is just make him scare people. Just go, rawr, rawr, we feast on brains. Brains. And I, and I, I just love that. I'm just, He's just super cool. Um, I do like the um, spider, spider, um, spider on his um, chest on the sides. Oh. See if you guys can see that. Overall, a highly, highly cool figure. Um, hold on, we'll bring Spider-Man back into the picture now. Should you pick these guys up? Mm, meh. I mean, I, I just, I, I don't want to burst your guys' bubble into thinking you should buy this just because it's cool. I mean, this has been sitting in my closet for four years now, and I'm not a big, huge Spider-Man fan like I was before. But um, if you guys like Spider-Man and um, like super small little cute figures that you can keep on your desk and if you have like three year old kids that want to take these into restaurants and go I'm gonna get you Spider-Man no pow 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 well I guess I'm, I, I'm not gonna 
force you guys to buy this. Now, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much about it. So this has been the review of the new class, Jack's First Impressions, and this is um, Blackjack2099, signing off. Take care, guys. Come on now. Come on now. Damn it. Sorry. Okay, just turn off.